Hello, and welcome to today's video. Uh, today I thought we would introduce a new series to the channel, and I don't know if any of you have played it before, but we're going to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! <coughs> the channel seems to be um, based on lots of card games. This was the first card game, you know, game and card game that I really ever got into as I was young. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Link Evolutions. Uh, on the PC, Legacy of the Duelist. Uh, brand new. I haven't played any any part of this game yet. Um, I played some on the Xbox, but I think that only had up to Zexel. So I have no idea what Arc 5 or Reigns is. <coughs> I don't know any of it. But um, we are slowly going to work our way through the campaigns. Do all them first, and then go on to the Duelist challenges. Maybe some online play, build some decks later on. But as I said, this is not nothing's been done as you can see on the left here. <sighs> Series, nothing completed, no campaign done. And we are gonna start the very first match of Yugi vs. Joey. Uh, these videos will probably come onto the channel on the Tuesdays and the Thursdays, and keep half stone Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, if you haven't already had a look, go please feel free to go check out. Uh, the Hearthstone videos will grind through silver, or up to silver 5, which is the highest we got last season. Hopefully, this season we do manage to at least get back up to it, or maybe even past it. But again, if you're new to the channel, please go over there and have a look. As for now, let's start playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Loading the histories. I don't know if I actually want to read all this, but... The story of Yugi Moto begins at the Domino High School, where Duel Monsters, <coughs> the hottest car game in the world, was all the rage. It still is now, surprisingly, it's still just as fun. Yugi was the best duelist around, and his friend Joey wanted desperately to learn how to duel as well. So, our history of Yugi Moto starts with Yugi teaching the rules of Duel Monsters to Joey as their friends Taya and Tristan. Watch. Hey Joey, over to Joey, it's your turn. Uh, aww. Isn't he cute when he's thinking? Hey Tristan, you can see teaching me how to play dual monsters. Drooling monsters. Good one. Dual monsters, you nimrod. Yeah, they've been out for hours. Joey's starting to get the hang of the game, but Yugi's like an expert. Okay, Yugi, it's time to duel. <coughs> Alright, let's see if I remember how to do this. I don't know what that is. Greetings to your list. I am IN4 Mate, part of the virtual game simulator, being programmed to teach you the proper dueling rules. Oh my god, you can tell this is the first time. So let's get started working through the basics. In this scenario, you'll be taking on the role of the legendary Yuki Moto, facing off against the not quite as legendary Joey Wheeler. We have a nice deck, but <laughs> first let's just learn how to summon a monster. They are summoned into the monster zone. Monsters can be summoned in attack or set in defense, defense mode. A monster in attack is placed vertically and a monster in defense position is placed horizontally and face down. Let's set a monster. I select the dragon. Uh, but you're going to set. Let's open the phase menu and select end phase. Backspace, that's an interesting button to, <coughs> to want to uh, change the phases. Ah, loser. Interesting how it doesn't tell us about that though. Congratulations, you survived. You might have noticed that Joey attacked and you wound up hurting himself. Okay, they are just a bit later than you'd expect. Let me explain what happened. When the monster attacks a defense position monster, the attacker's attack value is compared to the defender's defense value. If the attacking monster is a lower value, the attacker's owner takes damage equal to the difference. If the attacking monster has a greater value, the defending monster is destroyed. Next, we will play a spell card, a spell card and a trap card. These cards are played in the spell and trap card zones. Green spell cards can be played right away, but most can only be played on, on your main phase. MP1 or MP2. You can also set it and activate it at a later time. So, let's activate 
our spell card. Pink trap cards, they go face down. And we will set a call of the haunted. Now, let's get ready to attack. Let's switch the dragon into attack position. Probably wouldn't do that. Oh, we've got a seven odd Ninken dog as well. Press backspace to open that and switch to the battlefield. Oh, our monster is higher. Now we can attack him directly. End our turn. We may have to change the backspace. Because <laughs> that just seems like a very odd button to press. Oh, Joey. Joey doesn't stand a chance. Let's clean this clock. Let's turn we will summon another monster. Up until now, you've only used for port level 4 or below. In order to summon a, level, a monster that is level 5 or 6, you must tribute one, sending a monster on your side of the field to the graveyard. To summon a high level monster is called a tribute summon. Now we're going to summon our Gravity Crush Dragon. Uh, we will tribute. And we're going to get rid of our Ninken Dog. Interesting choice. But I got rid of the other card. Ooh, if you're adding a card on the left, you can see your Gravity Crush has the effect. You can trigger. Let's do that now. Let's use its effect and send the Banner of the Courage to the graveyard and destroy Joey's face down card. Mm -hmm. Activate. Destroy our continuous trap. Destroy its face down. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this pro strat. Mm -hmm. So we can bring him back as well. Mm -hmm. Now let's chain rush recklessly. Here we put that on. Doesn't really matter. And this is why Yugi Boto is the best. Now we're ready to attack. Oh yeah. Switch to the battle phase, shall we? Unlucky Joey. We defeated you perfectly. What? A card that powerful totally wipes me out. Whoa, you stink at this game, Joey. You did fine, Joey. Just have better cards. My grandpa owns a gain shop, and I get all my best cards from him. You're in a gain shop? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay. Maybe I can even get my grandpa to show us his super rare car he's got. Little did they know that someone was listening in on their conversation. Someone who was looking for a very rare car to add to his collection. Ooh. All terrible cars. Oh, on to the second match. Let's take on a certain Seto Kaiba. This one can be a little bit tricky though. In that afternoon, Yugi and his friends went to Grandpa's game shop. Yugi wanted to show his friends his Grandpa's prized possession. Grams, could you show my friends your awesome super rare card? Rare card? You mean my special card? Hmm. Please. Please. Ha 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 ha. Why can I refuse? You kids are in for a treat. I don't date this card out too often. It's a blue eyes white dragon. The card is priceless. There are only four of them in all the world. Suddenly, a classmate from school ran to the shop. His name was Seto Kaiba, the young CEO of Kaiba Corp. He had found a card he was looking for. Name your price for that blue eyes. I can pay anything you ask. I'm sure you could. But this card is worth more to me than you could ever offer. Senile old fool. Kaiba stormed out of Grandpa's store. The team was disturbed by Kaiba's obsession with the blue eyes white dragon. The next day, when Yugi came back to the store of his friends, he found Grandpa was gone. When the phone rang, it was Kaiba and it ran, mocking Yugi that had kidnapped his grandfather and took him to Kaiba Corp. Yugi and his friends rushed to the Kaiba Corp and found Grandpa laying on the floor, defeated. Are you okay, Grandpa? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy a lesson in the heart of the cards, but I lost. Grandpa! How's the old man feeling? Hmm? 
Kaiba, you sleaze. What have you done to them? We had a duel, that's all. If each of us putting up our most valuable card is the prize. But I guess playing against a champion like myself is just too much simulation for it. the old fool. Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at my sweet, the sweet prize I won. He held up the card and ripped it in half. Oh, an absolute savage. It's a rare powerful car, but this will never use against me again. My treasure! Hold on, Grandpa, how could you do such a thing? You, you take this. I built this deck. I put my heart and so I put my soul into these cards. I told you everything I know. Yugi, take my cards and teach Kaiba respect for the heart of the cards. Okay, Grandma, I'll do it. Are you ready to play? Runt. Kaiba was taken aback by Yugi's sudden transformation. It seemed like he had become a different person. As if. He was more confident and powerful than before. Always made me laugh in the anime whenever he did that, and nobody seemed to question his transformation. They all just readily accepted that for some reason. <laughs> After the big glowing light, he just becomes what, a mid 20s year old guy instead of a young schoolboy. Just casually let that happen and <laughs> carry on. I'll keep using the story decks because well, we have to have a deck to make our, ourselves. Let's see how we get on in the first match against Soto Kaiba. We'll go first. Give us the slight advantage. We hope. Not the best start. Might have Graveyard. This deck isn't built for the modern rules. Add one. Monster with 1500 attack or less from your deck. But we'll start off nice and defensive with the Soldier of Stone. Now we'll then doggo. Really do need to change that. Backspace, it's not great. Legion. I think we'll definitely save that though. Oh, we have Exodia. We're gonna set Sangan. Again, we'll end our turn. So we're waiting for Exodia this deck, but... Might as well draw another piece of Exodia. Well, there goes Exodia. Burn takes no damage into the Connex card. Where is it gone? Destroy the monster with 1500 attack or more. So, all we have left is Exodia. But apparently, that's all that's in the deck because never got destroyed. <laughs> Pro strat set. Pro strat. What we got next? Summon skull. Mm -hmm. Well, who are we to not go on the defense? That uh, defense. Jesus Christ. Let's go on the offense. Let's go into battle phase. Mm -hmm. Summon skull. Destroy. Legion. Hopefully this way and stop him getting card he needs. Add oh there it is. A way to steal that. That card. We'll set that one. Hopefully we can try. Oh, I can just right click. Oh, look at that, you learn. Let me get you semi play. Don't need to press escape. What did it tell me to do? Eh, backspace when I probably press right click. God. Special summon blue eyes. Ooh, hello. Well, this just got bad. <laughs> The right side, apparently. Right. 
give him a five zinfo. Let's summon. Let's put it there. We're gonna take his blue eyes. Gives him a thousand points each turn, but we're gonna activate the effect of Monster Reborn. We're gonna bring back Sanger of the Thunder. Uh, Sanger of Thunder. I wish we had that. Sangan. Now he's brought back ready so we can get another piece of Exodia. As we have three of them. And you can have as many life points as you want. Oh, I have to admit, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Just keep giving him targets. Let's cut me. Now we're not in a good spot. Really like stuff is light things, but these terrible cards. Pretty sure Summon Skull is the only high-level monster in this deck. Set him. Don't quite need to use Dark Hall yet. Let's get to the end phase. Ooh, what's that got? 1300. We don't have anything to. Actually, <laughs> nothing with defense high enough. It's embarrassing, really. Ooh, he has three monsters on that. Okay, so now we need to play Dark Hole next turn. Guardian. Oh, pressing the wrong. Mm -hmm. Now we'll switch to the battle phase. He only has two cards in his hand. No way to get another blue eyes white dragon on the field. Now we're one card away from Exodia, so we're in quite a good spot. He draws two. So close to to winning. Well, oh, that's extremely bloody lucky. Considering that we'd have lost <laughs> four pounds because of Odir and just waiting for one piece. Really not ideal for us. No way to search a deck to find it. Find what? It's both binding circle. I always remember how annoying like that was. It keeps popping up when you know unless it should only pop up when we tell it that we want to activate it. During your Drain you on the draw phase when you draw on the monster, you can be like draw one more card. I mean, I guess we'll play that, but unless we get the last piece of Exodia next turn, I don't think it's actually gonna matter. Mm -hmm. 
keep forgetting about where the mouse clicks. Good attack, but there's no point. Just lose life points, we don't have many of them. Of course he has another monster. I think we've we should have lost. How annoying. If we summons oh if he just keeps it as one card, we're fine. We'll never turn. Now we're not. <laughs> We don't have anything with high enough defense. Well, there we go. <laughs> well, that was lucky. Hello, Exodia. And the wing goes to us. <laughs> Didn't go quite as well as I wanted it to. Results jewels very quickly a mysterious one eyed man got news of Yuki's victory. Hmm, it seemed Kai the boy. It's been defeated in a duel. Let's learn more about this Yuki motor. And here we go, the ultimate great moth. And we have reverse jewels. And we got a booster pack, and we got a blue eyes white dragon. Don't know if that means that we can now, if we wanted, let's go and have a look. Actually, as you can see, it can't do dual challenges yet. As I think we have to beat them both ways around. Well, we can buy cards. Do we want to do our own deck? We'll, we'll buy a few cards and we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we get. Millennium Golem, nice. Luna Queen, Raging Flame, Gravekeeper's Descendant, Gravekeeper. They do like the Gravekeeper's deck. Well, that's going to spend quite a few on this. See how we get on. More gravekeepers, that's good. Mm -hmm. I do forget just how bad his deck is, but gravekeepers, as I said, I remember from playing on the PlayStation that it was quite a powerful deck. Although well, these are mediocre. Mm -hmm. Well, probably not going to deck build this match. Sword Hunter. Oh, he's one of my favourite cards. I enjoyed him. 200 for every monster you kill. As you can read from its stats, 200 for every monster you kill can become pretty powerful. Another Gravekeeper, that's what we like to see. Graceful Charity, that's banned. Rose Keeper's Seal, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Fire Fighting Dromedal, that sounds great. Oh, the Oracle. So, I guess, I guess in the first deck I'm probably going to build, from what I've seen so far, is the Graves Keeper. Maybe have one or two cards from. Uh, these random ones. You sound sick could be quite useful. Well, these are from Warriors. Mm -hmm. Give a sword to the sword hunter, I guess. They'd be a little bit stronger to start with. We just keep a spy, could do with multiple ones of them. A thousand life ones to attack. Oh. Gotta pay that, are you, for a 2000 attack monster? 
Another Gravekeeper's Oracle, DNA Surgery. Always good for Weevil. Bug deck. Make everybody dugs. Eh, dugs. Pugs. And use the barrier to stop them from attacking. That's always a great plan if you can get it working and keeping uh, your opponent from destroying your, your trap cards and spell cards. Five stars. That's a terrible five star monster. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we're probably just going to spend most of the money on it, get some cards in. Not a lot of great cards, that was a terrible pack, but you can't get decent cards in every single pack you buy. Uh, Gravekeeper's Chief, Scapegoat's always handy when you on the, uh, on the defensive, just four random targets for your opponent. Graveyard, Sword Hunter against that though. Mystic Plasma Zone, boosts. 500 attack, minus 400 defense, but with the build angle offensive deck, you don't really need, don't need to worry about that. Another Watcher. He sounds powerful, but terrible stats. Another one that's always good. Zodian Necros. Must be special summoned with a contract of his own. See, their cards are all good. It's all good having them. Apart from the fact that. It needs too many other cards to get it to work. And you're not going to be able to do it most times. I don't know what the 942 is. I know he has possibly 300, but it can't just be 942 cards overall, that'd be silly. Each player can only attack one type of monster. That could be a pain in the bum card. You just have a strictly bug deck, and you see bug, and they're limited. Another gravekeeper, brain control. Another spear soldier. Still hoping to get a few more gravekeepers. That's a very handy spell card. Increase the defense of all monsters on your side by 300. Well, if you can, if you can, if you tribute summon this monster by tributing three monsters in the field, destroy all spell and trap cards. It's quite a powerful monster. Mm -hmm. Especially with where we currently are, without a lot of powerful monsters. Extra handy. All the monsters equipped. When this card increases its attack, loses some defense. That's for wind. Got another yellow, yellow luster. A turtle with a relatively low, but again, you boost to be yellow luster and it's not too bad. Light monsters, get one with 1500 attack or less. Ugh, not terrible cards so far, but. Again, certainly grandpas. Two gravekeepers. Exodia as well, but we'll just ignore that. As we saw, it was quite a lot of effort to try and find him. Another Gravekeeper. Another Exodia. I do like the Millennium Golem though. And that's it for now. So we'll go back to the campaign. What we'll do... Exodia Reverse. We'll do all the matches in chronological order. And then, when we get to the end, we will do the reverse matches. So we'll just do it the right way around. And then eventually at the end, go back and we'll be the opposition. After his win against Seto, Yuki was puzzled to receive a package from Maximilian Pegasus, the creator of Jewel Monsters. Inside the box was a videotape. Yuki inserted the tape into the VCR and Pegasus' face popped up on the TV screen. Greetings, this is Yuki. I am Pegasus. I've heard some terribly interesting things about you. Your impressive defeat of Seto Kaiba intrigued me so much that I've decided to investigate your amazing dueling skills personally. Right here and now, we shall hold a special duel. Suddenly, strange and arcane magic throws time so that no one can move except for Yuki. The dark dimension we're in is known as the Shadow Realm, a mystical place where incredible monsters can be summoned in the impossible. It's quite possible. Tell me, Yugi, do you believe there is magic in these cards? <sighs> I mean, 
Don't you know? You invented this game. What have I told you I didn't? Huh? In ancient times, the Egyptians called this the Shadow Game. Powerful pharaohs would hold mystical jewels and other dimensions, just as we are doing now. Instead of cards, they battled with real monsters and real magic. Their magical forces were so powerful that the Egyptians lost control of them and nearly destroyed the entire world. It's a good story. These monsters can't be real. These monsters are, re are very real and also quite dangerous, Yugi boy. You really are quite entertaining. The way you scowl and sneer, so defiant yet helpless, and so completely ignorant of the power of your Millennium Puzzle. Yugi looked down at the puzzle and he wore around his neck. The power of my puzzle? Idiot. Five thousand years ago. A powerful. Oh. Apologies for the yawning. A powerful fairy locked the magic of the Shadow Games away in seven mystical Millennium items. Seven? You were saying my puzzle was one of them? Yes. There are mystical energies locked up in it. Magic that could change your life forever, if only you knew how to unleash it. As the two jeweled, seeing the Pegasus knew every move Yugi was going to make before he did, despite this disadvantage. Yugi mustered all his skill and nearly won, but Yugi ran out of time when the time limit passed. I have taken the measure of your talents to stay, Yugi, and when we next year we should play for far higher stakes. I'm done with your games. You presume I'm giving you a choice in the matter, but I'm not. For I also possess one of the seven Millennium items, the all-powerful Millennium Eye. An eye? That's right, you get my eye. I'll show you the true extent of its magic. I have found that, given the proper incentive, anyone can be made to play my game. The power of the Millennium Eye lashed out and stole Grandpa's soul. <laughs> it's very dark. Yugi! Bye, Grandpa. The jewel again. How else will you reclaim his soul? You get no choice but to compete in the Jeweler's Kingdom tournament. And you win chips to go and get the prize, bloody bloody bloody. Welcome, <laughs> Weevil. Welcome, said the spider to the fly. You flew right into my trap. It's time you answer for destroying my Exodia cards, Weevil. Can't you let bygones be bygones? Probably one of my favourite decks in Dual Monsters. I do you like the bug decks? Uh, paper. <laughs> Even I'm pretty sure you're meant to win. With a slightly different deck this time. Um, right. Like, what a terrible card. Let's start off with our giant soldier of stone in defense and wasteland. To give him a boost. Five stars, but only has 1800 attack and 1600 defense. Drew for charity. Cheating already. This is forest over right my wasteland. Alright, we've all calm down. Chances of that, he gets three equip guards in his first turn. Right, let's set him three equip cards. I mean, luckily we had waste on. Now, what rubbish do we want from here? It's say mystical elf, but mystical elf's not going to do much either. I'm pretty sure that's for Gaia and Cursed Dragon. Swords are revealing light. But as I said, we can't actually do much because we're playing Chase already. Not due to Weavile. Weavile. Or Weevil. It's not a Pokemon. Having a 2100 attack monster already. You can add one level 5 or higher intake from your deck to your hand. That's just. It's just not fun. Mm -hmm. Don't want to play that. So next day we can summon a mediocre card. Well, let's do it anyway. Mm -hmm. 
maybe we can destroy one of his monsters at the very least. Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. Nice and handy. Summon a terrible god. Oh, he's Earth, so he actually gets a boost. Got a boost and still not strong enough to destroy this because he has three equipped cards. Before he destroys my root kai's next turn, you do discard one card and tie in one monster in your graveyard. And I can't say there's anything in my graveyard that. They actually want to add back in. Here we go. Let's go back in the well, this match is not just going well at all, is it? As he gets ready to attack me this turn. We've got four cards on the field. All of which can't do anything. Three spell guards on our hand that can't do anything either. Big insect. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, there we go. We got Gaia. Seven star requires two tributes. Guy now being stronger than his most powerful card. Oh, he should have realised that. Oh, my idiot. There goes Great Moth, which should attach to the Cocoon of Evolution, which is our next target. So that only works for some in school. Well, let's activate polymerization to summon Gaia. Summon Diffuse Gaia with my Cursor Drag. Summon Gaia, the Dragon Champion. Don't want him having stuff like that. Of course, he just got loads of loads of annoying little bugs. Celtic Guardian. Some of them in attack and see how that goes. I actually thought it was Earth. But discard one card and target one monster in your graveyard. Mm -hmm. yeah, for now, we won't do that. Mm -hmm. Just destroy that one. Attack this one. It's, it's more like the monsters we want to see from this deck. Let's eat moss and stuff. Oh, 
burning band when the sky is open. If you any field cards, destroy them. Each player during each player's standby phase, the turn player takes 500 damage. I mean, that could be handy to play. But I don't know if that actually helps me right now. I'll keep them both in my hand. And see how it goes. That was devastating. The you do, when this card is destroyed, you can special summon one insect type monster. Luckily there's no cocoon, so there's no... Oh, that's lucky. The old kicking guy ever won't be able to summon him. Draw three, then discard two. We also can play Graceful Charity. Probably want to keep that. I really won't play that. <sighs> we won't risk that. So what we're gonna do... Set them as the glove. Play Mirror Force. Switch into Battle. And destroy Mana Ebug. I do need to start getting some... Some offensive monsters. Wind Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. Don't need the polarization. Discard one card. No, we will pull it down first. <laughs> Stupid. Right. So I'm probably gonna get Curse of Dragon. Because then he can replace the Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress next turn. Let's destroy his news card. You can destroy this card. Or not. Useless. better. Mm. And now we've got two cards to go on the offense with. So, there we go, so it's another slow burning match. Another burning land, that's not going to be helpful to me, is it? Right, summon the skull. Take no battle damage. Oh, that's unfortunate. Save himself for a turn. Or two turns, actually, because if they destroy his monsters, won't be able to do anything, but. The equip monster gains 700 attack when this guard is sent to the graveyard. Well. Oh yeah, gotta play it down on the field first, I keep forgetting to click. We'll make our summon skull super powerful. We'll destroy his card of our card. And now we'll start on the offense. It should just be one more turn. That would be to the even put card down. So to say, we could just put Gets the dragon on the field and set Mr. Glove. And that's the W. So you get for destroy our card. Harvey Lady. 
do you like Harvey Lady? Got the ultimate great mouth. New deck, new boost pack, new signature cards. There we go. It's all coming along quite nicely. Yeah, center. The harpies. Do you like the harpy ladies? Another good deck to use. Yugi wasn't the only duelist who was motivated to win the tournament for a loved one. Despite being a novice duelist, Joey had his own reasons for wanting to win. His sister, Serenity. You better be the champion for Serenity's sake. She's always cared over me, even when we were kids. Oh, well, isn't that sweet? I'm going to win this tournament and the prize money. I'm going to make sure you don't lose your eyesight by paying for your surgery, I promise. The medit meditative movement was rudely broken when Joey and his friends hit someone laughing and taunting another jewels in a short distance away. The voice that annoying can only be my team met my Valentine on board the boat to Jewel's Kingdom. She was always a manipulative, self-absorbed duelist who had the uncanny ability to always know what card she would draw next. Hey Yugi, when your jewels are going well, I might be up for a duel myself. So get ready, because I choose to challenge you, Joey. You do challenge me? Oh, let's use his busted bait, the dragon destroyer swordsman. Or oh, doesn't that card look incredible? Let's see how we do with as Joey Wheeler. Let's <laughs> see how bad his card deck is. Got a baby dragon, polymerization, Gaia power. Reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck, and add one of the fusion materials whose name is specifically listed on that card. You deck to graveyard, and if you do, for the rest of your turn, I've discovered resolves. Cannot normal summon set or special summon. Monsters with the added monster's name also your monsters with the name cannot not activate their effects. Don't even know what that means. Mm -hmm. Activator, I've never seen it before. Mm -hmm. Does that mean I just get time wizard? I can't summon him, but I can infusion summon. Thousand dragon. Say that can monster reborn and get a powerful card back, but we can't do that. <laughs> but a 2400 monster at the start isn't terribly. Puts Mai on the defense. Don't know what her trap cards are though, she's more than likely to have like mirror force and things. Tiger X. Let's boost all our wind monsters, uh, our earth monsters. Actually, makes. Tiger X quite a viable card. Let's go on the offense now. Like at the bottom down here we have the uh, progress and it's 200,000 damage for an achievement. Oh. I guess Tiger X will be doing most of the work. We now have a second time wizard. Not that we need to use it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I actually think that achievements for direct damage will air tank. Bottomless trap hole. When your opponent summons a monster, mm -hmm. 1500 more attack, and you can banish it. I think it has to be face up though, so we can see what its stats are. I don't really think Mai actually has an answer since we played. I managed to get a thousand dragon on the first turn. Jerry Beans, man. Well, he looks quite powerful. Um, 
but I'm going to change him to defense mode just in case. Kunai with Jade. Again, a good, uh, good card from the anime. Joey's one of Joey's favourites. Another. So annoyingly, now I want to buy a pack of cards uh, from Mai. Because Mai has an excellent deck. Harper Lady, Mountains, be Mai. Currently, as I said, backspace G. 2000, I only have 12 of my cards. There's only 942 in all of these. Can't be right. I don't know what that is. I don't know how many can have in the chest. I don't know. But let's buy a few more of these. A link effect. Well, I don't even know what that means. I think that's a a later one, but we'll find out when we get that. Giant Mech Soldier, not worth the time. Bite Lawn, drawing battle between this attacking card and the defense position monster. That's pretty good for four. Uh, for a six star monster. The rest of the cards. Rubbish. I'm really here for the grave. Him. Invader of Darkness, your opponent cannot activate quick base spells, so it doesn't seem like it's a handy card at all. Another moisture creature. Gravekeeper's Nobleman, that's good. Dark Hole, Gravekeeper's Headman. If this card is summoned, you can target one level 4 Gravekeeper monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Once per turn, it's unaffected by Necro Valley. Oh, 400 for my. God. Five of those or ten of these. Visionary. Equip only to a, a link card. Oh, you can tribute summon this card by tributing one Gravekin monster. This card gains 200 attack for each monster in your graveyard. Oh, he's the powerful one. It's more of a, an end game kind of card. Get the extra boosts. Graves keep as a vassal. Any battle damage this card inflicts your opponent. Which treat as effect damage. Don't know the difference, but again, we'll find out. Megamorph can always be handy when you're losing, rubbish when you're winning. Gate attack, that's a handy card, good defense. So, what we don't have is trap cards, it's all good having monsters, but we don't have the cards to go with it. Like Mirror Force and stuff. It just put us a link to it. Two water monsters, so all water monsters, if you're getting 500 attack and defense, all power monsters lose it. It's got to destroy the battle effect. You can target one monster in your graveyard out of your hand. Okay, that's. I think I can learn how to use that pretty quickly. Dark Chimera. Skill Drain. I quit by paying about 5 life points. I get the effects of all phase of monsters, so that's not too bad. Reach Light. Manaments hunt souls, terrible. Shovel crusher, crusher. Leo wizard, five stars, are terrible. Who's Naki? Oh, oh, Kazi. Watch if you. If you control Naki Valley, both players discard any monsters in the hand. Well, it'd be nice for us to get Naki Valley, wouldn't it? The end of Anubis. 
no defense. For this card is physical field, all the effects of spell trap monster cards that target a card in the graveyard. All that activate in the graveyard are negated. Interesting. DNA transplant. And the last one we can buy. Another Royal Tribute. Ghostkeeper stealing. Target two great ones of you. Well, that's if I cannot be anything. That's handy. So we're starting to get the Gravekeeper's deck. Which is always good. Let's go back to doing this. Probably save uh, some of the battle coins now. <clears throat> and then we'll just go on a blitz and do one episode of just opening packs and building a deck, I think. The truth of the power of the man puzzles again to dawn on Yugi. During his duels, the puzzle infused Yugi with the power and the soul of an ancient spirit. Though this was a major issue to ponder, there was a smaller but no less important matter to, to deal with first. All the dueling made me hungry. Did anybody remember to bring food? I think coming with no food. Good question, Joey. It's Julian Reese, how are you? I haven't seen any burger sounds or restaurants since I got here. I smell something cooking that way. They followed the scent. Oh man, I love barbecued fish. Yeah, trust me, we eat third and ask question later, your stomachs will thank me. Joey ran down to the campfire. Joey's an innovator for this belly. Some people have absolutely no self control. Joey, say something for me. Tristan ran after Joey, it wasn't long before Yugi and Taya joined them as well. Joey grabbed one of the fish from the fire. Ah oh man, this looks awesome. Just as the team began to bite into the fish, a young man he emerged from the ocean with a spear in his hand. Enjoy yourselves, you fish thieves. For this is your last meal, says Mako Tsunami. Dare you steal my fish? I hate your lives, you fish. I guess we'll. We'll battle him after we finish the talking. Which he did a lot of. Oh no. We lost. But we still go first anyway, so it's alright. We have a Dark Magician in our hand. Two horns of the unicorn. One attack in the moon. Once per turn, when the battle position of a rock type monster you control is changed. You can target one spell, a trap card your opponent controls, destroy it. Mm -hmm. right, I guess we play Pot of Greed. Mm -hmm. I guess we play Attack the Moon. And our Golem Sentry. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position when this card is flip summoned. Target one monster your opponent controls, return it mm -hmm. to their hand. Then you use that in turn with this. Once per turn, when the battle position of a rock type monster control is changed, you can target one spell your opponent controls and destroy it. it does leave us in the lurch with the horn of the unit one though. Every time he flips, the equip card gets destroyed. Alright, so on our turn. What we do is we activate his effect, flip him over, and a battle position. Just change from no oh, defense to defense. Mm -hmm. Alright, get it. Oh, we, we don't really want to flip him this mm -hmm. turn. We can't flip him back. Should have flipped him. The legendary fisherman. Did 50 damage. Not <laughs> beat us by 50. Let's flip our giant soldier of stone. Activate the effect of attack the moon. Destroy. Return of the Doomed. Don't know what that did. Horn of the Unicorn. We could have clicked both of them, but I feel like that's overkill right now. 
to destroy his legendary fisherman. With our 2000 attack monster. And if needs be, we can just switch him into defense mode and give ourselves quite the shield. And then we'll go to attack. Island Turtle. Good defense. And we've got here a beautiful area. Uh oh. Fortress Whale. Well, he beats us. Give him 1500, it'd still be too weak. We could have a super beaver warrior. <laughs> Let's put you back in defense mode. Because he has no cards in his hand currently. Means he can't stop what's coming. Now we attack at the Super Beaver Warrior. Now he puts us back on the offense. We'll now play a Wasteland card. We'll now flip something. Golem Sentry, get rid of his 5 star monster. So we can't just summon that back into the field. Ooh. We'll do a thousand damage there, but he's stuck in that position. Imagine now he's going to attack us. Destroy our monster. Do we keep him on the field? Don't really bother. Let's just go on the offensive. We'll keep attacking with the beaver warrior. Just in case that's another like island turtle. For the Curse of Dragons. Relatively low attack. Not bad stats, but I'm still not great for fighting star monster. But 3500 overall is pretty good. Just gonna summon the winged dragon and straight up in attack mode as well. Three star with 2700. Same as his, but just much better spread. Which means we win next turn. His Mago won't be able to come back from this. And there's the jewel. Nice and easy. Another Curse of Dragon. Then Curse of Dragon. Take the win. There we go. The Grand Jewel, I salute you, my friend. I mean, to be fair, it was quite an easy, easy jewel. Don't want a ritual card. He's a rubbish 5 star. And then we've got a new pack. A courier. Dinosaur Jewelist. Rex Raptor. I don't fancy doing the voiceover for me. They do talk a lot for this for a game. McMahon. <laughs> Hope he wants to read that much. I understand you're trying to make the plot work for this. The game building on obviously the first season of the anime so far. 
But come on. So again, all we're doing now is uh, just going through the, uh, the campaign, getting us some money, because we haven't touched the game before. Getting us some money, so eventually we'll build our own decks, do the jewelers challenges, go online, see how we, see how we get on. Only equipped to a fire monster. Ah oh, well. So far we don't have a fire monster. Add on level 6 although it's dinosaur. Well that was rude. You can attack, and we only have five star monsters. Ah, what a terrible, terrible start. Terrible start. I think we've, <laughs> I think we've definitely lost this one already. There's two powerful, three powerful monsters in the field, and well, Jerry's got nothing. Right. Let's exit and go back in. Well played, Rex. Steamrolled for Joey. It's a five star monster on the field first turn and just leaves us behind. Not an overly powerful card, I may add, but when you have two five star monsters and your one monster you add in your hand, died straight away. Not a, <laughs> a great start again. You can destroy a monster. A terrible monster. We can do their soul exchange as well. This deck is not great at all. Like, gee. I mean, I guess I could have destroyed that, but what's the point? Red eyes, black dragon. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all good taking his guard, but. Give him a thousand life points each turn. I'm not even sure what's in Joey's deck to be able to beat him. Let's add one card for the rest of this turn, reduce levels. Again, that's all grand. You know we had any bloody monsters. <laughs> this is a terrible deck. I guess it's time to stop leaning in the heart of the cards. Three soul exchanges. Yeah, this bloody point. These five star monsters, he asked. What do you do? Once we turn, you get us a coin. 
call it right, destroy the monsters you're paying controls. Well, that's just... Just a waste of time. Uh, the reason I'm destroying <laughs> the face down ones is because I already know how powerful that one is. I know I can destroy it when I eventually get a card. So as it stands, it's... You can just sit there. Didn't summon the monster. That's where you've got his best card. And so far we managed to draw one card. Two monsters. Yes, that's seven. Two cards of the field. Yes. Monster Reborn. Definitely didn't waste Monster Reborn. Oh, now we've got Baby Dragon. And Time Wizard. <laughs> Again, which is great. It's all great. If we have polymerization, right now we're starting to work back down his life points. I mean, to give even more. <laughs> I mean, we can take 2100 off. So, there we go. Where's all these? Used as five star monsters we had before. That's annoying. This embarrassing deck. I'm not even going below his original life points yet. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Hi. Who do we get rid of? Flame manipulator. This card gains 500 for each swamp battle. Swamp battle card. Which you again would, would be nice. Soul exchanges. <laughs> Great, if I could use one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I need to keep Baby Dragon on the field in case I get a polymerization. Mm -hmm. See, now that deck looks reasonable, but. Mm -hmm. None of which could destroy the red eyes. Mm. Mm. We've even come close to destroying your red eyes. Just have to be for these terrible drug cards. Another cost down. Which I guess is one way to get mm. five star monsters onto the field. Let me one shot with the baby track, jeez. Yes, I win. Your red eyes. So we have a red eyes, we have a blue eyes. A battle pack. Epic Dawn. I think I've seen the battle pack. And now we're on to Pakora. Who also has Millennium item and it's just a, a little bit nutty. <laughs> if people do want to watch the anime though, and want to get the better understanding of the story, I definitely recommend it. It's good fun, the jewels are silly and 
is just quite fun to watch. Oh, and here we go back to. I know we're doing Yugi. Who also has flame manipulators. And this rubbish card, why are you even in the deck? You need to win when you've got this big old guy with a big old eye. <laughs> Jesus. Swordsman. We're using Joey's deck. I think I am. Flame Manipulator and Masaki. Fuses together to make flame swordsman. Depressing though. Ooh. All of that for an 1800 attack monster. We do have that magician in our hand. Not that. We can actually do anything with him. I mean, I can summon him, but when a monster would be summoned, tribute one one monster negate the summon. Mm -hmm. I will save that for a rainy day mm -hmm. when he starts pulling out. Oh, but doesn't that just make everything look a little bit better? Like, what is that? Mm -hmm. Two summon skulls and a dark magician. And another flame manipulator. And lots of trap cards. Or spell cards. That's smart. Each time I want to send to your pen gear guard. Well, thanks to the effect of this morphing jar, I got rid of a dark magician. Which means that I. Can I bring Dark Magician to the field? Hello! Mm -hmm. I mean, ouch. Mm -hmm. Stop doing stuff like that. Oh, come on. and summon skulls. Mm -hmm. 5,000, which means next turn. I think I'll do is play Monster Reborn. Destroy all face of monsters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll bring a summon skull instead. So you have two monsters of 2500 attack. Mm -hmm. Flame Swordsman attack is Electric Lizard. Mm -hmm. Dark Magician. Mm -hmm. Summon Skull. Nice. Unlucky Bakura. Got his deck. Got the Morphin Char as well. I mean, that's plenty of bug, it's not a terrible card, but overall, not great. Now they awoke. I suppose it was only a dream, but it was only the Shadow Realm. Sleep well, guys, bloody bloody bloody. Just gonna find panic. They ran through the forest into clearing this whole very large duelist, defeating Mai. Hello, big boy. And we lose all our star ch ch chips. That's right, just like Pegasus pays me to do. Root out all the dueling filth on this island, dispose of it. Doesn't that make you the garbage man? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> he's no joke, he's one of the island's eliminators. 
If you don't get out of here, then do what he did to me. Well, them chips. You're out of the tournament. Shocking. I've dealt with bullies now. Let me transform like a transformer man. Nobody notices. Still use the story text. And we're gonna use uh, the wrong one. Panic. The wrong one. Oh, the first draw where? For a second. Let's see what he's got. We have five monsters, all of them are rubbish. Where is he? Yeah, you can just throw loads of zombies around. Let's put you there. For right now. We'll just play that. Bone Crusher. Yes, we'll have to make the back to Mother Grizzly. Did it say attack mode? Unfortunately, it did. Well, that was a silly mistake. I was looking forward to having him in defense mode. But we'll play our Griffor in defense mode. And we all play Swords of Revealing, like we'll stop him attacking where we get some rubbish cards on the field. What does do? Fusion Summon one Fiend Monster. Barox. Seems a lot of effort for a mediocre card, but. Works for me. I need to get rid of that zombie master. And curse the dragon. Oh, do I want to do that? Don't want to waste two of my monsters. Not at this juncture. Right, let's summon Cursor Dragon. And we'll attack his strongest one. All you do is stop them from attacking. Okay. They should now switch them all to defense mode. They all gain 200. Attack and no. Yeah, because fairies do stuff. Which makes you incredibly powerful. Mm -hmm. Well I will summon my Celtic Guardian. Because mm -hmm. we're not gonna miss out. Mm -hmm. On taking out mm -hmm. some powerful cards. So we attack so we can defend the Celtic Guardian. No. Oh, I hate if it does that. And stop that in its track. Okay, we lose Celtic Guardian for 180 life points. A bit irritating. Another Gaia. 7 star monsters in the hand. That's just. just pointless. <laughs> just pointless. But. we now have the, the ability to summon. one of these 7 star monsters. Dark Magician it is. It's a pretty cool animation though, I'll give it a... And gets boosted too. Thanks to his cards. The 
Class of the Dark Illusion gives everything else an extra 200. And an extra 400. Oh, it's 2300. Not enough to stop a Dark Magician, but. You're not a fairy, you're a spellcaster. So let's put you on there. Don't make you stronger, it doesn't really matter. Let's just make one strong. Because one has to attack. There we go. Three nine eighty life points remaining. Put that there ready for next turn. Oh, that was unfortunate. That's exactly why you meant to attack with the higher. With the higher monster. To remove their option of doing exactly that. Snatch deal in case. Curse Dragon. Mirror Force has just destroyed us. Bit of an odd choice to keep that there. It's real nice something Gaia. Up in the magic zone, is now equip it to go. You go, Guy the Fierce Knight. Let's see what he does. Can't be enough one, surely. Oh, thank goodness. We still, still have a monster if we do need it. Come on! <laughs> Two mirror forces under trot, that just seems unfair. Well, we have no, <laughs> no mirror forces. Right, let's see if Mother Grizzly. Win the match. Seriously. Three mirror forces, mirror forces he draws on the trot. And only one of us can attack. Obviously, mine was the horn and the unicorn, as we keep seeing. It keeps coming back to the top of the deck, which is a blessing and a curse. That's that's a mirror force. Um, let's put that down there for the moment. Very cushion. Don't really want to waste my. Spell winning circle line. That's like a five star monster now, they're not having. Saw that, saw that. Saw that was revealing light, we'll keep him there. Three turns of protection. And slow him down. Not like you actually do anything. Wasn't well, that just what you wanted? Give me your monster. Mm -hmm. 
so I can summon mine. Never destroyed that. Why is that not been destroyed now? It's ran its purpose. I just have a random card here. Three mirror forces and an armor thing. Keep again. But hold on, unicorn. Feral Imp. He's got nothing to protect himself. <laughs> Finally. Nobody beats Panic. But I did. There you go, mine. Let me give you all your chips back that you lost and eliminated, but we'll keep you in the tournament. Didn't learn anything. Gotta let your shields come down. God. Alex deck. So we've got loads of decks we can use. Boost the Pack Joey. Oh, he's quite a metal guardian. Mirror Force. That's one of the cards we need. Arena of Lost Souls. Joey versus. I think it's one of the bonuses, but I think for now, I think we're going to call it. And then in the next video, we'll carry on with the campaign, hoping some more packs. See how the packs come along, and maybe even start building uh, a first grave to keep it deck. But until then, hopefully, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.